Hello and welcome back to TC Kids Online. Hope you've all had a good week um, and enjoying the beautiful sunshine. Uh, it's I think it's about 29 degrees outside at the moment and it's very, very hot. So um, I hope you're all enjoying it. Um, so thank you all so much for uh, watching. Uh, I've seen some brilliant pictures of your earths uh, so far. Some of them are huge, um, which is brilliant. So uh, we're going to be looking this week at um, the next few days in the creation story. So we're going to be looking at uh, days three and four. So um, before we do that, we're going to say uh, a quick prayer and then I'm going to read uh, from Genesis chapter one and uh, just talk for a little bit and then we'll get on with the craft. Dear Lord Jesus, we just thank you so much for this glorious weather. It is just so beautiful. Um, I just um, pray that you will help us to stay safe though in this uh, weather, Lord. And um, I just pray for all the children. I pray that you'll be with them this week. I know some of them are back at school, Lord. So I just pray that you will be with them, look after them, Lord, and help us now to uh, think about your amazing creation, Lord. I just ask these things in your precious name. Amen. Okay, so I'm going to start this week. So Genesis chapter 1, starting at verse 9, and we're going to read through to verse 19. Then God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered together, so the dry land will appear. And it happened. God named the dry land earth. He named the water that was gathered together seas. God saw that this was good. Then God said, let the earth produce plants. Some plants will make grain for seeds, others will make fruit with seeds in it. Every seed will produce more of its own kind of plant. And it happened. The earth produced plants. Some plants had grain for seeds. The trees made fruit with seeds in it. Each seed grew its own kind of plant. God saw that all this was good. Evening passed and morning came this was the third day. Then God said, let there be lights in the sky to separate day from night. These lights will be used for signs, seasons, days and years. They will be in the sky to give light to the earth. And it happened. So God made the two large lights. He made the brighter light to rule the day and he made the smaller light to rule the night. He also made the stars. God put all these in the sky to shine on the earth. They are to rule over the day and over the night. He put them there to separate the light from darkness. God saw that all these things were good. Evening passed and morning came. This was the fourth day. So it's really hard to even for us to kind of comprehend what that means. But imagine, um, I love chocolate cake the bigger, the better. So it's like me closing my eyes and saying, let there be the biggest chocolate cake in the world. And I open my eyes and there it is, just like that in front of me. And that is what the Bible tells us. God said, let there be light and there was light. It's just awesome and amazing. I've come up with some fun facts uh, that uh, I thought I could tell you. And I'm hoping that maybe over the next few weeks, you'll be able to come up with some too, and maybe uh, either email them to me or post them on the Facebook website or a uh, web page, sorry. Um, and, um, and then maybe we can all kind of share in the fun facts. Okay, so did you know, the first one, did you know that there is 352 Quinn trillion gallons of water in all the oceans. Now, I didn't even know that was a number, but I'm sure some of you do, because we're probably learning about this thing, these things at school. But this is a massive number. So what I've got here, that hopefully you can see here, this is a huge number. Look at all those zeros, whoops, 18 zeros. That is a lot of water in the oceans. Huge, pretty, pretty awesome. 
Okay, we're also, uh, in the story we talked about plants. So did you know there are approximately 60,000 species of trees? Huge, a huge number of different types of trees. Okay, the next one, we're also looking at the sun and the moon. So, next fun fact. The sun is approximately 864,000 miles in diameter, which means kind of across. So here's our Earth. So across 864,000 miles. That's pretty huge, which also means, I've got the number here, that also means that the sun is 109 times wider than the earth. Huge! And my last fact that we're going to look at, the average distance from the moon to the earth is 238,857 miles. Huge, a huge distance. This is pretty, pretty awesome. Some fun facts for you there. So, I'm, um, like I said, hopefully, maybe next week or over the next couple of weeks, you'll be able to uh, share with me and share with the TC Kids team some fun facts that you found as well, which would be great. And I think these just illustrate just how awesome and amazing the creation is that God created himself. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the craft. So this week, what you'll need is some green paint, some blue paint. We're gonna need a pen. Sharpie, if you can. We're only gonna need a paintbrush, glue, sellotape, and also some yellow card and some white card. Oh, and the other thing we're gonna need, actually, are these things. Now, these are kebab, wooden kebab sticks. Now, if mum or dad uh, don't have any of these, I have got loads. So. If you want to let me know, if you can't get hold of any, then I can always drop some around for you. So give me a shout if you need me to, that would be fine. Okay, so I'm hoping, I know that, that quite a few of you have made your earth. So I made mine. Oops. Now, I've got a confession to make. This is the second one I had to make because the first one split. It went a bit smelly because I didn't turn it as it was drying, and it split, had a great big hole in it. So uh, this is the second one I've made. So it's all nice and hard. And also what I've done, I've actually um, uh, put a hole in the balloon. So the balloon isn't there, well, is it there a bit, but it's um, not there anymore. Um, now you can either uh, get rid of the balloon or uh, it was on a, a, an elastic band. So you might actually want to keep it and then you can hang it up. but. It's up to you. Okay, so what we're gonna do first of all, what we need to do, we need to find the splash and we need as much of the, what will be the, uh, uh, the, the land at the top. So I think, hmm, I think that's probably the best for me. And what we need to do, I'm gonna use a, a mug to rest, rest it on. And what we want to do, is to draw, using a pen, kind of draw like the shape of the sea and the land. So that's what I'm gonna do. So first of all, we want to go round the splash that we made. Now Oliver pointed out to me that my splash looks very much like, very, very, very much like a star, which I hadn't really noticed. Okay, 
so if you can see I've put a line on it. Also then what we want to do is just do like a, a wibbly line, however you want to do it, all around. To the other side of the splash and one back again so you can just do it however you want and that needs to go all the way back round to the other side of the splash okay so hopefully you'll be able to see that and then we're just going to fill in with the paint so i've got my green and blue paint so what I think I'll do first I think I'll do the blue first so I'm going to start with the splash I think just so you can see okay and we're just going to fill that in we don't have to be too worried about going over the line and we can Fill it in. Now again, if you don't have blue and green paint at home, I've got some, so I can always bring some round to you. Okay. And then what we want to do is kind of go and fill in the wibbly wobbly line that we did around the earth as well. So, oops. is the splash done and then can you see the sea going around the earth now you'll probably need a couple of layers of paint um, I'm just going to do one for now and uh, you're also going to probably need it to dry first before you start the green but um, I'm going to do my green now I'm just going to get another um, another paintbrush and uh, then I'll start the green and um, show you how to do that Here we go, I forgot to get another paintbrush. So you need two paintbrushes. Okay, so now I'm gonna do, start painting the land. So, we'll just do this. Basically just, basically just fill in all the bits that aren't blue. There we go, just show you. Like this, okay. So it's a bit of a messy job. Is mine now I've only done one layer of paint and you'll need to do two I think um, but that's mine so far so hopefully you can see the splash and then you can see also the land and the sea okay I'm just gonna put that over here out of the way for a minute Ooh. okay so what we're going to do next is we are going to make a sun <clears throat> and also a moon, hopefully. Okay, so what you need is some yellow card. Um, so what I did um, for my sun, and I did a cloud as well, um, 
I actually did it so you can't see the stick on it. Can you see? And how I did that, I actually folded over <clears throat> some card and then cut out the shape. So we could do that. You could do that if you wanted to. Uh, but today I'm just going to just kind of do, uh, not worry about folding it over and I'm just going to uh, uh, tape it to the stick. So what we need, first of all, I've got all paint on my hands, but you need um, a pencil and you need two circles, one bigger than the other. So I'm just using a ramekin and we're going to draw around the big circle. That and then we're going to draw put the smaller circle in the middle. We we'll try and get it in the middle if you can, oh, small enough. and then we're going to draw around that one as well. Okay, so hopefully, you'll be able to see two circles, and then you need to get your scissors cut around oops and the circle the big circle that is like this okay and then what I did can you see it's got like rays coming off of it so what I did I just cut kind of slits from the big circle to the smaller circle all the way round if I just show you what I did. And then I cut out the big bits. So let me just show you what I did. So you might need mum and dad, mum or dad or big brother or big sister to help you. So can you see like this? Okay, so like that. So I'm gonna quickly just do that all the way around. There we go. So then we've got our sunshine. And then we need to get, so uh, these sticks, they've got a pointy bit at the end. So we want to use the non-pointy stick at the top to uh, stick our sun to. So I've got some sellotape here. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna sellotape that. Like this and uh, I've got a cotton wool ball as well and then we can also get a glue stick and then we can also kind of stick a cloud to it as well so if you put the glue on the back of the sun hopefully that and hopefully be able to glue a cloud on it. Now we could actually do two clouds, couldn't we? So let's um, put some on the other side. There we go. Okay, so there's our sun and our clouds. Okay, next thing we're going to do is do the moon and the stars. So this was a bit tricky as well. So what I did with this one, I got my glass and I grew, I drew a circle and then I just moved it down and then drew another circle. And it, what it does, it makes a kind of a moon shape. And then what I did, I actually um, have got some stars and I stuck them on near the moon. And what I'm gonna do, uh, where is my, I'm trying to show you, what I'm going to do, can you see I kind of just joined the star and the moons together and then I'm just going to cut them out. So I'm going to just stick a few more stars on. Now you don't have to use stars, you can just draw stars if you want to. Um, I just thought it would be easier for me just to be able to cut them out. OK. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna cut this out. Okay, so another one of these. And again, using the non-pointy side, we've got our moon, and I'm gonna just put some sellotape on that like that. And then I'm just gonna cut that off, the excess sellotape, so I've got a bit much there. Okay, so there we have it. We've got our uh, sun and some clouds and we've got our moons ready to go on our globe. Now we can't put them on at the moment because um, mine's a bit wet, um, but maybe we can do that right at the end once we've made all the different elements of the craft. Okay, so the last thing to do this week is uh, the plants, okay? So I've drawn some trees, um, different types of trees and some bushes. Now, uh, you can do as many as you like. You can fill the whole earth with as many as you like. Um, but I've just done a few here just to show you uh, what, what I'm doing. So you just need some colored pens. I've got a couple of greens and a red. And I'm just gonna quickly color these in and cut them out. Okay, so. Here are my trees. Now I've just realised that I don't have a, a brown for um, the trunks, um, but I can do that later. Uh, I'm going to put some. I'm going to put some red apples in my tree. Like this. And this one looks a bit like like a Christmas tree. Okay, so I'm just going to cut these out as well. Two, two trees, and then I've got an, oh, another bush here. Now you could do, you could do trees, bushes, flowers, any type of plant you want. I know that you're all pretty artistic, so oh, I'm looking forward to seeing some amazing plants on your earths. Okay. So what, one of the things I did forget to mention, something else that you're gonna need, are some cocktail sticks. So these are like mini versions of the, the bigger ones. Now again, I've got some, so if you need some, then give me a shout. And um, these are for the smaller things to, to be stuck to. So again, I'm gonna just get some sellotape and just stick, stick those. So you need a, Bit of a prong to be able to stick it into the earth and I'm just going to cut the excess sort of tape off. This. Now you'll be able to do this much neater than me. There we go. Okay so they need to be kind of looking a bit like that. Okay and again we'll wait until it's dried. Um, and we've made all the different elements before we stick them into the to the earth okay so that's it for this week let me get my earth again it's drying already because it's so hot outside so hopefully by the end of this session you'll have a lovely earth that is painted uh, green and blue Hopefully you'll have some, um, a star, uh, not a star, sorry, a sun, a sun with some clouds um, and a moon and uh, some stars and also some trees and some, maybe some bushes and some flowers. Be creative and uh, a lot more creative than me, I know you are. Um, and that's it for this week. So, some, remember to find out some fun facts um, about the creation around us. And looking forward to hearing from you about that. And um, as I said last week, um, in this glorious weather, go outside, look around and really appreciate God's amazing creation.
Okay, thank you. See you next week. Bye.